two minute mornings. We are all awake a thousand minutes a day, Mario. So can you take two of them, just two, just two to write down these three things? I will let go of, I am grateful for, I will focus on. Each of these three sentences is a research back journaling prompt that will take you 30 seconds or so to do. It adds up to a two minute process that helps you prime your brain for positivity all day. I will let go of, for any Catholics on the call, they might recognize this, Catholic Confession Chamber, bless me, Father Fry have said, but you know, it's not just Catholicism, uh, Buddhism, Mormonism, Judaism, Islam, most world religions have a form of confession practice built in. At the same time, National Geographic is reporting that the world's fastest growing religion right now is actually none. In fact, some countries like the United States, like France, like New Zealand, like the UK, like the Netherlands, some of these countries are already passing the 50% secular majority. So let's look at the science. Science Magazine, Dr. Brasson and her colleagues report that writing down one thing that's stressing you out, getting a regret off your mind, actually help relieves your, relieves your brain of thinking about it. Doesn't seem like it would work, but it does. I will let go of how many dishes are in my kitchen sink all day. I will let go of the fact that I burned my kids' brains on Paw Patrol in the pandemic. I will let go of how stressful it is to plan this holiday that we're trying to do with my mom and my dad. I will let go of feeling like I'm the only one holding my family together. I will let go of the mom guilt I feel or the dad guilt I feel right now, trying to do everything all at once. I will let go of trying to be perfect right? Write down one thing that you wake up that you need to let go of. Then number two, Mario, is I am grateful for. Professor Emmons and McCullough show that if you write down 10 things you're grateful for a week, you're not just happier over a 10-week period, you're also physically healthier. If this is a bicep curl, then writing down gratitude is a brain curl. But the fascinating thing about this research is it's got to be specific. People write down on oh, my husband, my kid, my dog. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. It's when my husband, Ramon, put the toilet seat down. Not my husband, not my kid. Say, when my five-year-old daughter, Sonia, learned how to write her name. Not my dog. When the rescue puppy we got in the pandemic stopped peeing in the laundry room. Make it specific. What you're actually doing, by the way, is triggering your visual cortex, area 17 in there, to light up as if the thing is happening again. Okay, make it specific to you. No one's got to read your journal. And third and final thing on my two minute morning practices, I will focus on. I will focus on carve one will do from your endless could do and should do. We got a higher than ever cognitive load right now. What are the rules for traveling? Do I need to wear a mask? What's the vaccine thing supposed to be? Blah, blah. It's overwhelming right now. We got too much to think about. So, what you need to do to get rid of the decision fatigue is write down one thing you'll do. And maybe it's going to be work-related. Maybe it's making that one client phone call that you need to make. Maybe it's answering that one big email from the boss that's been sitting in your inbox since Monday, right? Maybe it's one just work thing. You just know it'll feel like a good day if you just get it done. But it doesn't have to be a work thing. It doesn't have to be. It could be, I will focus on finally booking a dentist appointment. I haven't had one in a year and a half. It, it could be, I will focus on finally taking my car in for an oil change, even though the light's been on the dashboard for three weeks. Make it the most annoying thing on your list. Together, these things add up to a simple thing I call the two-minute morning practice. And the number one way to make space for this two-minute morning practice is to take your cell phone and get it out of the bedroom. Get your phone out of the bedroom. Start with the two-minute morning practice. One way to prime your brain for positivity.